Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. Come on in, like, tag, and share. Good morning, good morning. Amen. We want to put out the disclaimer that we do not own the rights to the music playing. Amen. But we pray that you enjoy it while everyone is coming on in. Good morning, Sister Aida. God bless you. Come on in. Come on in. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Hannah, God bless you. Good morning to you as well. Amen. Thank you for being with us. We serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you today, um, but I am I'm just excited and I just have a praise in my belly today. Hallelujah. Glad that you are with us. Amen. Sister Nicole, God bless you. Good morning to you and the girls. Sister Dean, God bless you. Come on in. Like, tag, and share. Good morning. God Good morning. bless you. And, and we're yelling because we're trying to talk over the music. <laughs> but um, we just want to create a, a worship atmosphere. We're just encouraging you right now as you can hear the music. If you're hearing, listening to it, just go ahead and just worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. The song is saying, I will worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Come on in, like, tag, and share. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank amen. you, Jesus. Greet Thank each you, other. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to get ready to get started. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to kind of mute the music. Amen. As we get ready to start with prayer. Yes. Well, good morning to each and every one of you. We want to say happy Sunday. Happy blessed Sunday to you guys that are joining us on Facebook live today. Um, we are just so delighted that you have taken the time to be with us. If you are viewing us for the first time, we are pastors, uh, Aaron and Arena Paris. We pastor the Bristol Church of God. Um, we just welcome you on our Facebook Live today. We want you to know that we love you and uh, we're excited that you have decided to join our church family today as we stream, go live with our uh, teaching this morning. So we're going to open up today with a word of prayer and ask God to, to bless the word that is going to go forth today. I know you're going to be blessed. And uh, after I pray, First Lady is just going to just highlight some of the announcements that are pertinent, and then we're going to get right into the word of the Lord for this morning. So let us pray. <laughs> Father, we thank you, Lord, today for the privilege and honor, Lord, that you've given us to, uh, to come into your house and to worship you um, today, to just be in your presence today, God, um, is a house of worship. And we ask God today that as the word of God is sown today, as it's preached today, under the power and the uh, unction and anointing of the Holy Spirit, we pray, God, that it will be received with faith, um, that it would encourage your people, that it would take them to the next level that they need to go to in the kingdom of God. And Father, we thank you for yokes being broken. We thank you for uh, uh, depression fleeing today. We thank you for hopelessness leaving the vicinity today. We thank you for people who are oppressed. We thank you for them being released today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we all say together, amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're so excited to have you this morning. We want to encourage you, amen, as you, you know, to be interactive, as you hear, amen, the word of God, and as it resonates in your spirit, um, touches your soul, Amen. That you let us know. Be interactive in the chat. Um, we encourage you to share. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. As you gather, you know, find a nice space. Amen. Hallelujah. To listen and uh, uh, get a sacred space to worship God as we go to God in the word. Um, we want to remind you, pray on Tuesday, Bible study Wednesday. And when everything is in the chat, uh, in the comment section. And our app for giving this morning is Givelify. So you can give online or you can mail it in at um, the Bridgeton Church of God, 81 Pamphylia Avenue, Bridgeton, New Jersey, 08302. Um, and so, but we encourage you, amen, to um, get in the mood of, of worship and, and set the atmosphere in your home or wherever you are, 
and be interactive. The word is rich. It's a lamp unto our feet and it's a light unto our path. And we thank God that we're still in the time and age, Bishop, where we can gather and spread the news of Jesus Christ Amen. without being persecuted. Amen. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's right. All right. So at, um, on that note, we're going to turn over to the bishop who's going to bless us with the word this morning. And we pray that your mind, body, soul, spirit be lifted up and be blessed in Jesus name. And I'll see you in a few. Hold on one second. I'm just going to put you on the spot today. Just, I just want you to just speak to the people as you, I know you spend time daily um, in the word of the Lord. For those of you who don't know, uh, First Lady um, constantly um, is, is listening to things on iPod that are teaching about the word of God when she comes home. She's constantly um, watching shows that, um, that is teaching about faith. Last night we was watching the late Dr. Fred Price um, and he was teaching on faith and how faith, faith works in our lives. And uh, she's just a sponge when it comes to the word of the Lord. Amen. So I just want to just give her 30 seconds, whatever she wants to um, take and just speak to the people and just share with them um, what's on your heart in this particular season. What do you feel God is speaking to the people? Amen. Hallelujah. You know, one of the scriptures that's been on my mind and on my heart on and off actually since last year, June, last summer, um, is uh, the scripture Isaiah chapter 45. Um, and it's been a, 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 you know, every now and then the Holy Spirit will bring it back to me because I think, you know, he wants to um, for us to, for me to really make that scripture become a part of me, a part of my soul, my spirit, my mind, and to become one with it. And it's a scripture where, um, you know, God was talking to King Cyrus, who wasn't even a, a, a believer in God, but he used him anyway for mighty works because that's what he set him, set, set out to do. Mm -hmm. Um, but he said to him, um, that I am going to level mountains before you. Hallelujah. He was getting ready to take over the Babylonian empire. And he said, he's going to level the mountains before him and he's going to break the doors of brass Ooh. and the bars of iron. Amen. And sometimes, you know, it, it reminds me all the time that I don't care how, how many obstacles the enemy puts before us. Amen. Whether it's, it's tr uh, trouble, you know, you have mountainous and, uh, uh, you know, crooked paths before us that the God of heaven can level it and straighten paths. And I don't care what doors of brass, brass is a very, very strong iron. The Babylonian empire, they said, you know, in history that it was surrounded on four sides with 25 uh, gates of brass on each side. And the gates were, you know, uh, woven together with iron. And the scripture lets us know that God himself is going to smash those gates down. Hallelujah. Thank and he's Jesus. going to break the irons that hold it together. Thank Hallelujah. You Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So I don't care what's going on in your life, and it seems insurmountable, Bishop. It seems like it's the most difficult situation, and it looks like it's impossible because it looks like it was impossible for Cyrus to take over the Babylonian Empire because it was so fortified. The gates were brass and, and, and covered in iron. Amen. Hallelujah. But, but, but history lets us know on the night that he took over Babylon, that somehow somebody mm. left the gate open. Woo! <laughs> Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody need to just type in the, uh, in the, the comments. The gate is open. <laughs> the gate is open. Hallelujah. You know, and when we speak of, of gates or doors being open, that means this is a season of opportunity. God is opening or making the way for you. Amen. Hallelujah. He's, he's already gone before you. You don't have to worry about it. Speak it, it First Lady. Speak He's it. He's already leveled and make the path clear that you can just walk in to your blessing. Walk straight through your promotion. Yes, there's going to be haters. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be naysayers. There are going to be folks who want to put hex and hoodoo and voodoo or whatever they want to do and work with out there. But it's not going to work because God said that he has already gone before you. Amen. He's already made the, the path plain and straight. Make everything that's crooked straight. He's broken down the brass doors and, 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 and broken up. You know, he took the padlock off of it. Amen. The, the gates of iron. So I want to encourage you this morning that it doesn't matter how impossible the situation looks. 
and who's standing behind those doors to hinder you that God himself says, I'm going to go before you and take care of it. Wow. Woo. Amen. First lady, I'll tell you, you're firing me up. Amen. I hope you are receiving that word Amen. by faith. Somebody needs to just receive that. Thank you so much Amen. Um, Praise for God. sharing with us today that the gate has been open, um, that God is going to, to level uh, the, mountains. the mountains. And I just thank God uh, for that word. That was not just a word, but that was prophetical to some of you that are out there today that are dealing with things that seem insurmountable. You don't think that you're able to come through um, whatever you're dealing with because somebody is blocking your blessing. But God said he's going to he's, he's going to level things. He's getting ready to move the obstacles. So today um, I'm going to share a word from you, share a word with you today that I believe comes from the throne of God. Um, God just placed this on my heart at the latter portion of this week. And this word, um, the sermon or message is more prophetical than it is um, just a sermon. So I want you to receive it as such. And it's coming from Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to be reading. I'm going to be reading to you verses one and two. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses one and two. And this message is more prophetical than it is just a sermon. Um, sometimes I'm pastoral and sometimes prophetical. Today I'm prophetical. And verses one and two of Deuteronomy 28 says this, and now it shall come to pass if you diligently, diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obeyed the voice of the Lord your God. Hallelujah. I want to read that to you again because there's so much meat in that. It says, now it shall come to pass. If you dilig diligently obey the voice of the Lord, your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord, your God will set you high above the nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord, your God. I want to begin my message today with this statement. It's coming. I, I want to say it again. It is coming. I need you to place in the comment section. Um, my, It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Some of you are saying, Pastor, what do you mean by it's coming? I'm glad that you asked. And I want you to know this, the very thing that you have been waiting on God to do in your life, the thing that you have been praying for, the thing that you have been believing God to do in your life, I want you to know that it is coming. God is getting ready to do what he has promised in your life. Ha have anybody ever waited on something to come to pass or even ask for something, and then you had to uh, wait for it. I don't know about you, but I'm not a person um, that likes to wait for things. Sometimes uh, my wife can tell you that I can be somewhat impatient when it comes to things that I'm wanting or waiting for. For some of you, you may have a dream in your life um, that you've been waiting for that dream to manifest, and you've been struggling because um, this dream seems to be, uh, or vision for your life seems to be prolonged. It seems to be like you're believing God to do things in your life, but yet those things are not really coming to pass. Maybe you're believing for your children to be saved. Maybe you're, 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 you're believing, uh, God to, to break the back of poverty in your life. And it's been five, 10 and 20 years and seemingly nothing seems to be happening. Maybe you've been waiting on a miracle in your life. Um, I don't know what that miracle is. Maybe it's healing. Maybe it's a, a, a promotion on your job. You've been tithing. You've been wondering when God is going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. Hallelujah. And now 
you've come to the place like I come to sometimes where you have become impatient because you're waiting on the manifested blessing of God. You're waiting on that which God has prophesied over your life, that which God has said was going to come to pass in your life, and you cannot see how God is going to do what he has promised you. Matter of fact, the circumstances around you spell out disaster. It says that God cannot do what you have been believing him for. But the Lord says to tell you today, it's coming. Delay does not mean denial. I need somebody to place that in the comment section right now. Delay does not mean denial. Hallelujah. God's way is not your way. His time is not your time. His thoughts are not your thoughts. Matter of fact, they are above your thoughts. So you can't even try to figure out God's thoughts. You just got to believe it. Hallelujah. It's coming. I need you to shout it, type it, and say, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I, I feel it in my spirit because God has promised you some good things. He has promised to do some amazing things in your life. And I want you to know that those things are on the way. Listen, we, we have, we have, uh, 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 a, a, God has established a track record, um, with people's testimonies. You know, we, we can go back years or listen to various people's testimonies and see how God has always made good on his promises. We can look, listen to the testimonies of Daniel who was thrown in the lion's den and God shut the mouths of the lions. We can, we have the testimony of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, glory to God, who were thrown in the midst of the fiery furnace, but God allowed them to come out Hallelujah. Unharmed. Um, uh, their garments were not touched and neither was there the smell of smoke on their garments. Hallelujah. We have the testimony of the saints of old that show us that if God has spoken something and he has declared something over our lives, we can rest assured that even though those promises may not come when we want them to come, that he, they always come on time. Hallelujah. Listen, I need you to know your answer is coming. I need you to know that your financial blessing is on its way. I need you to know that a miracle is headed your way that's literally going to blow your mind. I want you to know that it's not far down the road, but some of you before this day is out is going to get good news. My God, I'm receiving that today. Hallelujah. For my own self, some of you today on this Facebook live, you're going to receive good news. You're going to, somebody's going to give you a phone call that's going to bless you. Somebody's going to give you a phone call that's going to give you a, a monetary gift. Today, God is getting ready to make good on his promises in my life. Somebody need to put in the comment section, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Listen, God is going to do it. God is going to manifest his goodness in your life. God is going to rain down his favor in your life. God is going to open some doors in your life. God is going to heal your body. God is going to save your children. God is going to bless your ministry. God, hallelujah, he's making a way out of no way, hallelujah, and whom God says is blessed, nobody can curse. Somebody on this Facebook Live ought to feel a little bit Pentecostal and raise your voice and, and just begin to praise God in your home and on this Facebook live because the Lord has declared it is coming. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I just take a praise moment right now and just go ahead and give God some praise. Oh, glory to God. In Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 1 through 13. And I encourage you to read that later on today. God promised this. He said, if you obey my voice, and observe carefully all of my commandments. He said this, he said, I will set you high above all nations of the earth. I don't know about you, but that sounds like elevation to me. I want to declare to somebody today that this is your season of elevation. This is your season in which God's going to lift you up. Some of you have been down. 
Some of you has felt hopeless. Some of you has felt defeated. Some of you have felt like, like you've been trapped inside of a box. But my God, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I want you to know that this is your season of elevation. Glory to God. When I think of elevation, I think of years ago when I was in New York City, I was on an elevator. Oh, glory to God. And it was an all glass elevator. And you can see the city through the glass. And as you were going up in the building, you begin to see uh, yourself rising above different levels. And I, I want you to know today that you're on a spiritual elevator in which God's going to take you places that you've never dreamed before. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody need to receive that today, that this is my season of elevation. This is my season of promotion. Now, I'm not trying to hype you up. I'm just declaring what the Lord has laid upon my heart. And if you receive it by faith today, hallelujah, you're going to see the Manifested, manifested blessings of God in your life. You're saying, Pastor, how is God going to elevate me? I'm glad that you asked. God said this. He, he wants me to declare this to you today, that blessings are going to run after you in this season. Oh, hallelujah. Blessings are going to chase you down in this season. Hallelujah. In other words, you're not going to be able to escape blessings. Oh, everywhere you look, you're going to see the blessings and the favor of God on your life. Oh, glory to God. Everywhere that you go, everything that you do, you're going to see blessings. God's going to open doors. Oh, God's going to increase your income. God's going to upgrade your stuff. Everywhere that you go, you're going to see the blessings of the Lord upon your life. Hallelujah. In addition, watch this. Moses said this. He said that the blessings Blessings of the Lord shall overtake you in verse two. That means uh, God uh, will see to it that blessings pursue you like a hunter relentlessly pursuing his prey. Oh, glory to God. In other words, blessings are going to hunt you down. They, they're going to look up your address. Oh, glory to God. They're going to follow you. They're going to look up your, your job. Come on and, and follow you there. Come on. Everywhere you look, God is going to bless you. Glory to God. My God, I don't know about you, but I get excited to think, watch this, that, that blessings are going to chase you down. This is the reason why God is going to do it because you have been obedient. You have followed all of his commands. Another scripture says it this way. You have been faithful over a few things. Now he's going to make you ruler over many things. My God, hallelujah. You've made a little bit work. You've made a little bit look good. Cold glory to God, hallelujah. And God said, because you didn't give up, because you didn't throw in the towel, because you didn't quit the ministry, because you didn't walk out on that relationship or that marriage, God said, because you've been faithful over a few things, he's going to make you ruler over many things. Somebody need to just type in the comment section, this is my season to be a ruler. This is my season, oh glory to God, to master my environment. This is my season to shine. This is my season for God to elevate me so that I can be a blessing to somebody else that needs to hear about the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, the text says, watch this, that, that blessings are going to chase you. In other words, you're going to be blessed in the city. You're going to be blessed in the country. You're going to be blessed when you come in. Hallelujah. You're going to be blessed when you when when you come home or when you go out. That means you're going to be blessed at home and that means you're going to be blessed in the marketplace. Hallelujah. You're going to be blessed everywhere. Your children are going to be blessed. Your finances is going to be blessed. Oh, everything that you put your hands to do, you are going to be blessed because this is your season in which God is declaring over your life Life. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Some of you may be saying, but well, pastor, what, what else is coming my way? You told me that blessings are going to chase me down, but what else is coming my way? I need you to know this. Number two, God is going to give you victory over your enemies. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo. Somebody ought to just be running around the living room right now.
Somebody ought to just, if you standing in your shower, you need to holler right now. Well, you shouldn't be in the shower with your phone, but you need to holler and give God some praise. God is going to give you victory over your enemies. In verse number seven, it says, the Lord shall cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. They will come out against you one way and they will flee before you seven ways. Oh, how many of you just rejoice because of that promise? Hallelujah. This is, watch this. This is a poetic way of saying that the enemies that are in your life that are attacking you in a very organized, intimidating manner will be so thoroughly defeated that they will retreat in chaos to save their lives. Oh, your enemy, they to come at you one way, but they're going to flee before you seven ways. I, the scripture says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Hallelujah. Some of you've been fighting some people. Some of you've been dealing with some haters. Some of you've been dealing with some people that, 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 that don't want to see you prosper. They are your enemies, but God said they're coming at you one way in order to demote you, in order to, 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 to hold you down. But God said they're going to flee before you seven different ways. Hallelujah. I need somebody to type in no comment section. God's going to take care of my enemies. Oh, glory to God. He's going to take care of my enemies. Oh, we know when we know that we don't wrestle against people, we don't, this fight that we're in is not a fleshly battle, but it's a spiritual battle. And some of us has been dealing with some demonic strongholds that has been preventing us from breaking free into a life of liberty and freedom. Some of us has been dealing with generational curses. Some of us in the body of Christ, yes, in the body of Christ, we have been oppressed by the enemy. He has caused us to be depressed. He has caused us to be hopeless, but God said he's going to deal with your enemies in this season of your life. I, I just declare today that every demonic force that is hindering your church, that is fighting your family, that is fighting your health. I declare the blood of Jesus against them right now. And I declare that this shall be a season where you'll be released that you'll be let go, that people's mouths will no longer be on you, or you will walk in the divine favor of God. Go ahead and just give the Lord praise right now. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, watch this. Two things. God said he going to command. What? No, this, that's the next one. God said blessings are going to chase you down. Number second thing God said he's going to do. Hallelujah. That's coming in your life. He's going to take care of your enemies. The third thing that God's going to do is he's going to command his blessing upon your life. Woo. Hallelujah. Oh, God. God said he's going to command a blessing. He, he's going to watch this. In other words, God's got when you command something, that means that 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 you give strict orders to something. When you command something, that means it has no option but to manifest that which it's been commanded to do. God said he's commanding in this season a blessing upon your life, hallelujah, that's going to literally blow your mind, now hallelujah. No demon in hell can stop you from walking in this blessing, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. You know, when God commands a blessing on your life, that's a place of supernatural abundance. Somebody need to hear me now. You're going to walk into a place of, of supernatural abundance. I'm not talking about natural abundance, but I'm talking about supernatural abundance. What God is going to give you, oh, what God is going to give you back a thousand fold on the season of the seeds that you have planted in the kingdom. I'm talking about, hallelujah, walking in a wealthy place. I'm talking about walking in a season of, of when you're totally healthy and healed. I'm talking about a season of liberty. Hallelujah. God is commanding a blessing upon your life. Somebody go ahead and just shout hallelujah because God has commanded a blessing. He has commanded that favor is on your life. Oh, glory to God. You know what? And whom God blesses, nobody can, can, can curse. If God says you're going up, that means that nothing can, can be reversed. Nothing can be turned around. Nothing can be voodooed. Nothing can be hexed. 
Nothing can be, nothing can stop what God is going to do in your life. Hallelujah. The fourth thing I need you to know that's coming in your life is that God is going to open his good treasure, uh, the, uh, the heaven, and give you rain upon your land in its season. And watch this. And he's going to bless the works of your hands. Oh, for, for so many of you today, you have been laboring to no avail. You've been seemingly, you, you've seemingly been plowing the fields of life, metaphorically speaking, but you have not seen the fruits of your labor. But God said he, in this season, he's going to bless the works of your hands. Every invention, oh, glory to God. I'm, oh, somebody here, somebody on this Facebook live, you've been, you've been dreaming. You're an entrepreneur and you've been dreaming about God opening up something great in your life. And you've been wondering how in the world God is going to do it. I want you to know that in this season, whatever you've been dreaming, you need to step out on faith and do it. Whatever business you've been thinking about establishing, this is your season. This is your moment to do it. I don't care what the economy says. I don't care what you hear on the news. This is your season to step out. Just the other day, I had a dream about opening a business. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Oh, glory. Glory to God, but I want you to know that this is your season in which God's going to do it. He's going to give you favor, hallelujah, in this season. He's going to give you resources in this season. So what you've been dreaming about, God said it's coming. Step out, do it, and watch him bless you in your life. I love what, what, what Moses ends with in, in verse number 13, hallelujah, after all the good things he said, he's going to open, God's going to open his good treasure in heaven, that blessings are going to chase you down, that he's going to deal with your enemies, glory to God, hallelujah. But listen to what he ends with. He said, you shall be the head and not the tail, and you shall be above only and not beneath. In other words, you are going to be in this season, you're only going to be triumphant. This is your season to be victorious. This is your season in which you're going to say, all I do is just win, 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 win. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody need to type in the comment section. All I do is just win. Hallelujah. This is the season God said that, that all things are going to work together for you, hallelujah, for the good of those that love God and for those that are called according to his purpose. Listen, I need you to know in this season, God said he's going to make you the head and not the tail. So whatever door closes, should have closed. Whatever door opens, should have opened, hallelujah, because you're going to be a, a, a winner in this season. All you're going to do is win. Every time you look around, you're going to see favor. Oh, goodness and mercy. It's just going to follow you all the days of your life. Hallelujah. God is going to prepare a table uh, before you in the presence of your enemy, enemies because you are the favorite of God. You are the beloved of God. Glory to God. I'm just getting excited up in here because somebody's on the verge of a tremendous breakthrough in your life. You need to type in the comment section. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. This is my season of breakthrough. This is my season of release. This is my season of manifested blessings in my life. Let me just slow down just a little bit because I feel the Holy Ghost moving. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost that are go that's going through this live right now. And it's touching people right now. I need you to just receive. I know I gave you a lot of information, but I just need you to receive uh, what I have declared today under the unction and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, that this is your time, this season in which God, my God, is going to enlarge your territory. He's going to, to, to bless you in ways that you have never thought possible. Listen, some of you have just come out of a season of suffering. You have just come out of season, uh, a season where you have been in a dry place. You, you've just come out of a season in which you felt like the heavens were brass 
and you could not touch God. You've been in a season where your prayers seemed to be uh, like they were not going any further than when they were coming out of your lips. But God has sent me today with good news. The gospel is good news. He has sent me today to encourage you, to let you know that even though your blessing may seem like it's delayed, it, it has not been denied. God said it's coming. Everything he promised you, it's coming. I don't know what you're believing for. Your children are going to be saved in this season. Oh my God, hallelujah. God's gonna move you off of that uh, a job that does not appreciate your worth or your value. And he's gonna put you in a place where you're going to be celebrated. God's going to show because some things, watch this, cannot facilitate where you're going. Hallelujah. Oh, this is your season. This is your season. This is your season. It's coming. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And I just need you right now, if you'll just be bold enough to do it, to go ahead, type in the comment section, type hallelujah, and go ahead and give God some praise for what he is doing right now. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. God said, if you praise him, hallelujah, he'll, he'll break the, uh, he'll defeat the enemy. If you praise him, if you glorify him, he, he will he will move the obstacles if you praise him he'll send that he'll send the answer if you praise him hallelujah that he will shake the very gates of hell if you praise the Lord hallelujah God said I'll turn it around I just want you right now to just be to begin to praise him hallelujah begin to glorify him begin to exalt him right now and watch him do it in your life I'm going to ask first lady to come right now uh, to the come up here with me because I believe that there's an anointing. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. There is an anointing that is on this Facebook Live. Hallelujah. God is going to do something great in your life. Listen, you need to get your faith, get your faith together. Get your faith together. Uh, watch this because God can't do it if you don't believe it. Let me say that again. He cannot do it. Amen. He cannot manifest his promises in your life if you don't believe that he can do it. Listen, I want to pray. I just want to pray two prayers. For, one for the group of people that are faithless, that are faithless because they don't see God doing any good thing in their life. I want to pray that God mm -hmm. breaks that mindset. Amen. Hallelujah. That's that's demonic. Mm -hmm. I want to pray that God breaks it in your life. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And then I want to pray for those that God is going to release into a realm of prosperity. Hallelujah. Folks, it's coming. It's coming. Some of you were more excited about the stimulus check than you are excited about this word. Listen, God is not like man that he should lie, nor like the son of man that he should repent. Listen, if God said it, mm -hmm. He's going to do Amen. it. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. So let me pray those two prayers for those of you that are on this Facebook live. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are struggling in the area of faith this morning. I pray, God, that you would just break that hopeless spirit, Amen. that you would Jesus. break that mindset yes, that Jesus. they have in their lives that, that says that they are ne would never achieve anything. I pray that that mindset would be broken in the name of Jesus and that God, that you would allow them to see that you ha there are un that their, their possibilities are limitless yes, as it relates to their life. Allow them to see that you have a great plan for their lives. Lord, I thank you, Lord. For, I thank you right now because I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains breaking in the spirit realm right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of you right now need to just go ahead and begin to praise God because there, there, there's, there's a breaking. Thank there you, is a severing that, in the spirit yes. realm where God yes. is rearranging your thinking. He is rearranging. Those, that there has been demonic forces that has been keeping you, holding you captive to, to low self-esteem, holding you captive, hallelujah, to ridicule 
and 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 self-loathing and, and, and putting yourself down. I want you to know I'm declaring today that it's being broken in the name of Jesus. Name Hallelujah. Of Jesus. And I pray for those, Lord, that are going to a new arena. God, you have new assignments for them. God, you have new places that you're taking them. God, you 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 have upgrades for them. You're elevating them, God. That God, you, you're taking them places that they never dreamed possible. That you're going to place them in the wealthy place. God, I pray that your hand would be upon them as you're moving in their lives, that God, that they will be humbled by what they're doing, what you're doing in their lives and that they will see God, that, that they that the promotion is so that they can be a blessing to somebody else. And Lord, we thank you for what you're thank doing. You, we give you the glory and we thank give you, you the honor and the praise as we ask in Jesus name. We amen. all say together, amen. Go ahead amen. and give God some amen. praise. Amen. Go ahead and give amen. God some amen. praise. Amen. Listen, if you are not saved, you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Mm -hmm. We want to let you know that it's very, very simple. It's not complex. It's not something um, that you got to, uh, that, that is just far beyond um, what you can obtain right now. It's just praying a very simple prayer. And that is Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I ask you to come into my life. I ask you to come into my life and to change me and to change me and make me a new person and make me a new person in Jesus name in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Listen, if you prayed that simple prayer, mm -hmm. that very simple prayer, you are a Christian, you are a believer, a follower of Jesus Christ. And we encourage you. Oh, hallelujah. To get connected to a Bible believing church. We would love to have you connected to us, the Bristol church of God. Mm -hmm. um, there's various ways that you could connect with us. Um, just shoot us an email and say, I'm looking for a church family. Um, and we'll get some information out to you. If you just need to grow in your walk with the Lord, we will shoot you some information on what's next. It's a book that we have entitled what's next, um, that you need to get in your hands and teach you what the steps you need to follow in order to grow in your walk with the Lord. First lady, I, I know that something phenomenal has Amen. happened in the spirit realm Amen. as it relates to Amen. those that are connected with us this morning. Uh, th th you know, and I just, I'm just excited Amen. as for what God is going to do. I'm just going to turn it over to you for a little bit and then um, we're going to close. But Amen. do you have anything that you want to say? Um, no, just want to encourage you that whatever you're trusting and believing God for, that the blessing is on its way to manifest in your life. Amen. You've got to already believe that Christ already took care of it. So you're just waiting for the manifestation in the, in the physical realm. Amen. So if it's your finances, if it's family, if it's relationship, if it's your healing, whatever it is. Amen. Don't give up just yet. Amen. Hallelujah. Hang in there. Because you never know. Because today could just be your day. Bishop. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want to encourage you to check out the comment section before we close, Bishop, um, just to remind you of the announcements. And we encourage you to give. Amen. Um, using the uh, online giving app for our giving today. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ, if we want to break the back of poverty in our lives, if we want to, um, you know, get out of debt and insufficiency and scarcity and lack, amen, we have to practice giving, amen. We can't just talk about it. We got to do it, Bishop. Yes, sir. You know, First Lady, and I think I need to share this with those that are alive. There's an anointing upon our lives, and I'm not saying that to be boastful, but there's an anointing that is upon our lives, mm -hmm. um, not only the fire of God, but we have literally preached the good news to people that were in uh, very difficult financial situations. We think about our ministry mm -hmm. and we have literally watched people's lives change for the better mm -hmm. um, simply by, by sitting under the preached word of God. Um, you know, when we started uh, pastoring the whole church of God before the Amen. church we're pastoring Amen. now, Amen. we've seen people get jobs and homes. We've seen people, literally come into to large sums of money. We've seen people get degrees. And so the things that I'm declaring today, if you'll receive it by faith, Amen. I don't come, I'm not what you call these prosperity preachers. That's not my MO, but I know when I hear God and God is declaring today over your life mm -hmm. that what, you, what you've been praying for, it's coming. 
and it just happens to be good things. We love you so much. Amen. We love you guys so much. We're always praying for you. And I'm telling you, better days are ahead of That's you. That's right. And we want to end with this. The, the best, best is yet, yet to come. come. Talk to you later. Amen. God bless you all. Bye-bye.